Hi everybody! Tonight we will do a new slippers. We will cast the machine with some waist yarn at first, and we do one in the front, one in, in the back. I didn't play with my row contour yet, cause no need for now, cause it's the waist yarn, and we will remove it at the end. The project today will be a slippers. For beginner, beginner save. I will turn some row, maybe four or five, with the different yarn, different color yarn. For this project, I will use some Madonna Premium, the gray one, and also the uh, Delnet Seta the pink one so I use all of it and now I will switch to the pink it's Bernat Satin and it's not really pink it's another color it's just a minute it said my mate 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 but for me it's pink <laughs> And it's number four medium. So I will start with this. And I end up with my uh, waist yarn right here. I open my yarn feeder and I will place my yarn just beside the other one like this. Put my row counter to zero now. And just hold it a little bit like this for the first row. And don't attach both together because you don't need to attach them. So with the thing, I will go. It's my first row now. Notice here that I miss one stitches, but I will fix it after. Do not worry about that. and I will fix that. Eight, nine. I need 10 rows of pink. 10. And don't worry, I will show you all the number after. Okay, 10. So I will cut it. And switch to my Delna Premium. The gray one, it's number four two, and it's dark gray edder. So I will use this one. So I cut the the pink. So I will go and place it in the same place like this. And I will fix that after. So to fix that, I will. This is one. Okay. Right, right here, I will open my yarn feeder and take this stitches and drop it like this there and I will go with my crochet grab here and get 
through the top with it. And I will put it back on the crochet. It looks funny for now, but it's going to be better after. Okay, put my yarn here. And close the yarn feeder. And I will be okay to continue. But I'm going to take a close eye on it. Just make sure that it's not dropped again. Because sometimes it happens. But it looks fine now. Yeah, it looks okay now. Yeah. That would be okay. So I continue with the group. Up at 60, I remove my yarn from the yarn feeder. I will cut it. Ah, uh, no, I will cut it, but I will uh, put some um, waste yarn. Put some waste yarn so that way my project will remove itself from the machine. And I need to do that too shows both hands so easier to use waste yarn for this part use the same uh, yarn f with yarn so so I use it all I continue turning the machine and it will remove itself from it and usually the last one that that's stuck on it so it's off the machine so this part was 10 row and this part is 50 row of gray so you need 60 row in total so don't forget to stretch your your work when you remove it stretch 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 and I will attach it with you do that I will need a crochet number four I will put my work like this and my tail is this side so I will start the other side so that way this I will use it to close my tool okay so I I will start here. I will put a close, close, close. So that way you will see better. So I will use the one in the middle and I go grab the one in the back. That's why I use uh, waist yarn because you see your stitches better. And I will go. not easy to do that like 
this in front of the camera because I'm not very comfortable right now. So I go get the one in the back, the one in the front. That's the way I will close my work. You could do the same technique when you uh, like to close a, a scarf before you put the French on it. Not the French, I don't know. The little uh, yarn on both sides. There. And you continue like this. One in the left. And one in the right. Or one in the back, one in the front. There. Usually people who don't crochet lo love this technique. This is not too hard for them. You just get the loop, the stitches, and put it inside. I learned that technique on the Italian side. Not side link. And I really like that technique. Hope you see better. My uh, husband just bought me a new light for Christmas that I'm using right now. I'm kind of lucky. For my my birthday, I got a new mic, and for uh, Christmas, I got the new uh, the new light. So I will do that, the same technique, both sides, because I want my tube to be close, to take the rectangular shape to fit on the feet. I wear size 7 and it fit me, it could be like for size 8, 5 to 8 I think. I will not try all the size so I give you the idea and the technique so you have to try it by yourself now when you arrive at the end like this be careful make sure you get all the stitches and the tail here will use it to close it it down and now you remove the waist yarn by pull it pulling on it and when I don't do that on video it worked perfectly <laughs> I do that on video it gets stuck hmm It's always easier one side compared to the other side. I don't know why. Maybe it's the beginning or the way the machine do. But I noticed that one side's getting easier and the other one always like a little knot making. Okay, but I will not have time to play with that later for now. And always check that you don't lose any stitches before going further in your work. And it's good. See? Look very great. And it's still uh, flexible. So we'll do the same thing to the other side. So usually I will prefer to work on a table, but if I have to change it again, it'll take some time. So will work like this just to show you I don't know okay I will put it bigger again okay just to make sure that you're straight 
and it's not curvy. There. So here I didn't start the right place, so that's why it's not like right here, but it's okay. I will take that yarn and I will cheat a little bit. <laughs> I will bring it here and it will work too. Okay, and one bother. So I will start this side and make sure my knot in there is okay. So, crack. so I put the yarn here and it's straight. And I will do the same thing that I did earlier. I put it flat and I will go get one stitches in the middle and start attaching them together like this. Took a lot of time with the program that I use right now to do the video. If you have any name for a program that I could use to make my video, let me know in the comment. I will very appreciate that. I will. I'm looking for a program that I could write the number of row with numbers to help people that can hear or just a need to, to see the number to help them so if you have a program name just let me know uh, almost at the end
probably to grab this one. At the end, sometimes it happens because I get tired a little bit. There, I got all of it, and I will close it with the tail. There. So, time to remove the yarn. the waist yarn now. I'm going to save it this time. There. And it's funny here, but I will fix that. Always check that you didn't lose any stitches. I did not, so I will hide it in between the two layers. It's okay now. Okay. Yeah. So I have my rectangle now. Get some gray yarn to sew all that together now so to yeah your rectangle to sew it together you will take this corner bring it to the other one and you will attach both together
fait des. I grab the middle of my stitches, grab two, and here I go and go in the V, not in the V, but get the V. I go closer maybe, better to see. So I go in the middle of my stitches like this. And here I go and grab the V. Make sure you always keep the same row so that way it won't, won't uh, uh, twist. When you reach it here, we'll pull the yarn. And when you arrive here, push the double layer inside of it. I will go grab this one again and continue 
here. To get the two stitch. Now, here, you will do the same thing to attach it together. You will start here by doing one, two like this, and two like this. It's going to be the two over here to make it twisted a little bit to make a little design that's why I, I choose to do that way finger in my thumb and pull on it make sure it's secure there it is it's fine now I will go do a double layer not a double layer <laughs> double knot and I did in the double layer I did this part now see those is for the and now I will fold it a little bit like this and do the, the eels now I'm doing the eels for the eels, I just fold it. See, now you have a triangle. I don't know if you see it. Yeah, you have a triangle since I sew it together. Now I will go in here to do the same thing. Almost finish. Because it's not the same uh, angle, I will go grab the V like this. Grab the other one here. on 
Right. I'll check with the other one where I stop. Oh, geez, I'm good. <laughs> exactly the same thing. I would say maybe two inch, two inch and a half. Okay. And to close it, I will go this one again. and do a little double knot there and hide it in the double layer and my slippers are done I will just have to hide the a little tail of yarn all over. I've made the second, not the second, but your triangle with the place where you go. And after that, you just go and turn it like this, and you have your little slippers. It looks funny like this, but when you put it on your in your feet, it looks better. So this is the video for tonight. I did a mistake. I did both the same way. So when you do it by yourself, make sure you do the other side. <laughs> so I will take some pictures. I wish you a good night. I hope you enjoy my little video. I know it looks funny like this. It's only triangle, but you will see in the feed it look cute. See those are the Geez, I'm good. I almost did the same, same, same size for the little. So I take some picture and I will post it. I wish you a good night and hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, it's okay. I thought uh, I made two right foot, but I just forget to uh, to turn it after I sew it so it's fine I have a right and another foot <laughs> ciao ciao